Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I'm so excited to be here. It's been a heck of a day. What a crazy day. I think what we're going to do is a sit down, get ready with me. Adam and I have dinner tonight with some friends and I never go anywhere. So I'm excited about what I'm going to wear. I got some questions. You guys know we're always multitasking here because I'll fill you in on what's been going on with my life, with work, with Adam's work. It's just like it's a lot. One, I'll tell you what's been going on. I'll fill you in. Number two, I want to answer questions while I get ready. And I have a whole bunch of stuff like I'm multitasking all the time. So I woke up early this morning because I had a meeting that I had to be training on at seven o'clock. So I just wanted to get up, like have some coffee, get myself settled, prep for the meeting, get signed in, review the documents that um, I was going to be teaching on. Then I had a team meeting and then I had a meeting like a town hall meeting and it's all virtual so I can listen and watch online. Of course, I had to be focused on my training, but then my team meeting, same, but that was short. While I was on the town hall, just like listening and watching the slides, I repainted my nails because a couple of them were chipping and I've been using a gel polish with like one of those UV lights that you use to cure. So as one or two peels, I can redo it right then and there or redo it like right before I go out, like tonight while I'm multitasking and my nails are still pretty looking pretty good and manicured. So I'm really excited about that. That was helpful. I have to dye my hair but I wanted to get some exercise today. I went out for a walk, went to the dollar store, made it there. It's not that far from the house. Grabbed a couple things because I forgot to bring water. CJ wanted water. I grabbed that for him. While I'm walking through the aisles in the dollar store, he falls asleep, which is fine. I was expecting him to nap on the walk. While I was leaving, putting the bags under the stroller, it starts downpouring. I started to get really annoyed. I've just felt like very short the last couple days. It's been a stressful few days. And then I stopped myself. Let me show you before I continue the situation in my living room. That is a desk chair. But you know what? Mama needs time and he's playing because he's basically been on the iPad all day. I stopped and I was like, you know what? Relax. It is fine. It gives me more time to get ready. The smell of the rain on the pavement, to me, it's one of my favorite smells. So I relaxed, I took some breaths, I smelled the pavement, I got home. Unfortunately, it woke up CJ, he had fallen asleep in the dollar store and I was gonna walk while he was napping. That just didn't happen, but that's fine. So I came home, Adam actually came home a little bit early. We hung out for a little while. I was able to dye my roots, which needed it. Unfortunately, I dyed some of my skin. Dye my roots, blow out my hair, and now I'm getting ready to... I have no idea what I'm wearing. Going between three outfits. What is wrong with my, num my numbers on my fingers today? So I have three outfits in my head that are inspiration. Hopefully one of them works. You know how in your head sometimes it's great, but then when you put it on, you're like, oh, hell no. So actually three, maybe four. The first one is a long denim maxi skirt with a slit up the front. Love that look. Snakeskin boots that I want to wear, like high, like up to the knee. So I was thinking that I would wear that with like a brown sweater that I have. It's a brown tank top sweater. And then on top of it would just be a brown shrug. It goes together. I'm not sure yet. One thing I do know that I'm wearing though is my new Ana Luisa jewelry. You guys, I am so excited because this company, Ana Luisa, reached out to me for a collaboration. I have been watching them from my very big following fashion girl, blogger, vloggers. I didn't know how to say that, but that was a mouthful. But you know what I mean? People with huge followings collaborate with Ana Luisa. So when I got the email, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was spam or like a hacking or a phishing attempt. So I researched it and I'm like, oh my God, this is Hi, real. Mama. They wanna work with me. This is amazing. I chose two pieces. What I've seen, like they have all different kinds of stuff. They have statement pieces, you name it. Earrings, necklaces, rings, bracelets. So I saw that they had a lot of really small, dainty, feminine jewelry and despite the mob the mob wives aesthetic being popular like that's been my whole life i'm from new jersey i've been mob wife aesthetic with like huge chunky costume jewelry for many many years and there's still a place for that believe me i still wear it but i really wanted to get into dainty feminine jewelry so i started off dipping my toe in the pool got these two beautiful eternity rings the diamonds are all the way around i got one in silver and one in gold and they're stackable. I love that. The wedding band that I've been wearing was a cheap $10 wedding band from Amazon. It's only halfway and it's kind of big and it's kind of gaudy and you can tell it's fake and it always turns and it winds up that just the metal part shows in front. Stones are on the back, 
So I always look like I have this dingy, dirty, banged up, cheap looking wedding band. And I've been wanting to replace it with full stones all around the ring so that no matter which way it turns, it, there's always stones in the front. You know what I mean? And I think this looks gorgeous. I just think that this is so beautiful. I love them stacked because I love to mix my metals. I always wear gold and silver together. Anywhere in the United States, they ship for free. It's free and fast shipping. And then add the United States, they offer affordable and pretty fast shipping options. Plus, what I think is so cool about them is that they do tons of research. It's tarnish resistant and they're humidity resistant, despite them being humidity and tar tarnish resistant, they still offer a two year warranty on all of their jewelry. They have faith in themselves. It's not gonna tarnish, it's gonna last for you. But if something goes wrong with it, we got you for two years. That to me is amazing. They have free exchanges, carbon neutral packaging, like I, the list goes on. They have so many options on their website. I think the next piece I'm gonna get is gonna be like one of those dainty necklaces. They also have bracelets that are, they, I think they call them watch band bracelets, my favorite. And they have different looks. They have one that matches my watch band. So that's on my list of wants as well. I love it so much. This will be worn out tonight with my outfit. And if you guys wanna check it out, my link is in the description box below. Go check them out and just let me know if you get anything. If you like something, send me the link. I'd love to know. So kind of along the same lines, I was asked a question. I think it was here on YouTube, but maybe on Instagram about what somebody could wear to visit and like metal and jewelry and denim buttons on their jeans, etc. So that's what I want to talk to talk through while we get ready. Quick story. When I was going to my first visit, I had no absolutely no idea what to wear what to bring jewelry no jewelry wire underwear i had no idea thankfully at the time i had a friend that was visiting her boyfriend in the same place she kind of showed me the ropes and then you just kind of like learn as you go as far as jeans or pants the metal detector is going to be set differently at different places five pocket jeans with just a regular button in the front not button fly a regular zipper typically tend to get through in almost all the facilities that i no, in every facility that I've gone to and then almost everywhere that anybody I've ever spoken to. Now, just note that some places don't let you wear jeans because they're blue and you're not allowed to wear blue. Like in the state of Nevada, you can't wear blue to visit. My girlfriend, Jo, when he, she used to go visit her husband, she couldn't wear blue, but she could wear white jeans. She could wear black jeans. She could wear gray jeans. So you have to know it might not be the metal necessarily. It could also be the color. So that um, dress pants, that have more than one little slider clasp. If there were two, then usually that would set off the metal detector where I was going. Again, they're set at different levels at every facility, at different sensitivities, I mean, when I say levels. And it could be different from day to day. It could be different from visit to visit. So like I could go on a Saturday and get in, the same, get in wearing a pair of pants that I might not get in wearing the exact same pair on Sunday because a different cop was working and they set the metal detector at a different level, you know, a different strength. Also, if your jeans have any kind of metal embellishment like rhinestone, that type of thing, that can cause the metal detector to go off. That could be an issue. Other things that you don't think about, like if the ankle of your jean has like embellishment with a zipper, that will set it off. I've worn those before forgetting. And then I was like, oops, that was not a smart idea. So, oh, and any kind of jeans with pockets with buttons on them, if the pockets have like flaps and buttons on the back pockets, that always set off the metal detector for me. It was just too much, but again, different at different places. And the only way you'll know is if you try. So either if you're okay and have the ability to bring a backup outfit and change in your car, then I would say give it a shot. If not, some places they have a rule where you can, like if you get turned away for clothes that don't work, you can only, I think it's like two or three attempts and you're sent to the back of the line. The first time you're sent to the back of the line, the second time. And then if there's a third time that the metal detector goes off and you then you're turned away for the day. Your visit is terminated for the day. So you just have to be careful with that. Any place I've ever been and anybody that I've known that goes in, a medium and above, a low, I heard that they're okay, but you never know. I'm sorry, a camp, but a low and above that they can't wear underwire in their bra. I was never able to. So what I did honestly was I just popped the underwire out of um, bras that I had until I found underwire free bra that I actually liked. And those became my visit bras. You could do sports bras if you prefer that. The ones that I found that I love the most, I actually have a whole video on the channel with like bras that brands 
that I wear to visit. Uh, the Victoria's Secret Pink Wire-Free Push-Up Bra. I actually wear every day when I wear a bra, like when I'm not wearing a sports bra, which is most days because I don't go into an office for work anymore. Days that I just need to, days that every day I wear a sports bra, but days that I need to get dressed, I wear that bra, the wire-free push-up bra. Because my mom had breast cancer, I try not to do wires, unless it's someplace, you know, I'm trying to look nicer and I want the extra shape and push-up and it'll be for like an hour at a time for like dinner or an event or something like that. So that said, the wireless push-up bra, I on the back of your bra, three clasps, I've been good. Any more than that, so like if you're larger chested and you have like five clasps in the back, it's not gonna work. What you could do to get away with that though is you could take a tweezer before visit and you can just tweeze those off of there. I've done that before. You can cut if it's like different rows and you wear it smaller than the last clasp. You can cut off that row, I've done that. So you have like the first row of hooks and then the rest of these are cut off or the first or second and then the next few are cut off. And if you need to pop the underwire out of a bra that you already have, if you're doing it at home, the best way to do it is with just like a scissor. Just poke a hole and pull the wire out. Even at visit when people are desperate. One time a woman's like, do you have a scissor that I could pop it out? And this guy's like, this is a prison, we don't have scissors. I'm not gonna believe that. However, they gave her a pen and she was able to poke a hole using the point of the pen and pull the underwire out. I've seen that happen a lot. The other thing that got me once was I got a bodysuit at Zara. I got a cute little pair of dress pants. They were blue and white and it was so such a cute little spring summer outfit. Problem is, the, uh, the clasps at the bottom of a bodysuit is gonna set it off most places. I might have gotten in with a bodysuit once or twice, but more often than not, you're not gonna get in a bodysuit with metal clasps. So like don't wear shapewear that has like corset type of clasps. You're not gonna get in with that. Unfortunately, I know people back when like the waist trainer trend was really big, wanted to wear waist trainers in to visit. That's not gonna work for you. That's gonna set off the metal detector. Less is more. We're in a phase right now in fashion where sweats are like so big, so popular, so common. So maybe use that to your advantage and just do that. Wear sweatpants. As far as tops, there were times where I would wear, very often I would wear a bra and then a tank top over it and then my shirt just because I didn't want anything to be see-through, anything like that. I wanted the extra lift because it was a tank top with like a shelf bra. That caused an issue when I had the tank top that had the little clasps that you could slide to make it bigger or smaller and they were metal on top of the metal for the same, the clasps like same issue of my bra, that was an issue. The more metal on you, the more likely it'll be that you set it off. So with your clothes, the least amount of metal, the better. Now like a zipper on the back of a sundress, like the thin ones, never had a problem with that. Never had a problem like zipper on a skirt. Even I've worn a shirt like with a thin zipper on the side. I did have a pretty shirt and it was like a exposed zipper. It was part of like the look of it. Thick zipper on the back, that was an issue. I couldn't wear that. As far as jewelry, anything that is real, you're not gonna have an issue with. Real metal, if it's titanium, people ask about body jewelry. I had a belly ring the whole entire time, like a navel piercing, the whole time I was visiting Adam and never set the metal detector off once. Because if you think about it, like I have metal in my feet too. I have screw titanium screws in my feet. If you have like a metal rod in your back or plates, hello, that's gonna set off the metal detector and you'll need to bring a note from your doctor and then they'll wand you down. You don't have to go through the metal detector because you're gonna set it off regardless. I never had an issue with the screws in my feet. I never had an issue with my um, navel piercing. Any kind of fake jewelry, I went to places where, you know, like costume jewelry or not real metal, where I was able to take it off, pass it through a scanner with my other belongings, just like you do at the airport. I could put it back on. Some places will not allow you to do that. Some places, you have to, what, you, what you're wearing is what has to go through the metal detector. You're not allowed to take anything off. And in that case, it could only be real jewelry or none. And just so you know, cause I've been asked this question, what inmates like jewelry wise, what they can wear. Oh my gosh, the video completely cut off while I was in the middle of filming that and literally in the middle of a thought. My camera roll was full, it stopped the video. I'm glad it saved what it did. But I wanna finish that thought. I was saying that I get asked a lot what inmates can wear inside as far as jewelry. As far as I'm aware, at least in the feds, the federal system, they can wear a wedding band and they can wear any type of religious related 
jewelry. So for example, a cross necklace, if they're Christian or Catholic. I'm not sure of other um, religious jewelry that people would be allowed to wear, but that's the caveat for inmates being able to wear jewelry. They could also wear other religious related items. For example, like a kufi, for a Muslim man, they're allowed to wear that. I've even seen, I mean, we're just going off into a different video, so I'm just gonna stop after I say, I've seen people wear sunglasses if it's something for like an eye problem. Some guy came out to visit and like it looked like Gucci sunglasses and I'm like, what's that all about? We could do that in a different video, but we'll end there as far as what you're allowed as the visitor to wear, metal and what's gonna set, set off the metal detector. Only other thing isn't clothing or jewelry related, but clip and hair extensions with metal clips those will have always, every time I've seen set off the metal detector, any type of, like if you have a ton of bobby pins in your hair, one or two might pass in some, but even if you do wear a hijab, then either they're gonna make you take out all of the pins and the bobby pins and pass through. I don't think they make you take it off because of the, um, you know, the reason why you're wearing it to begin with, but they do make you take out all the pins. So just know that like there's hair clips, if it's very, 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 very thin wire, like maybe in a claw clip, that might get through. I've gotten through with a little clip, but also I have tons of videos if you wanna look on my channel, if you're new to this life and you need to know, plastic bobby pins are great. They're the way to go, then you don't have to mess with your hair if it's already sprayed, that type of thing. Um, but I think that's it. I've been wearing my Ana Luisa rings, by the way, nonstop. They're like my new wedding ring. I even wore them hiking the other day because they're humidity proof, but also they have a warranty. I didn't wear them on a hike where I had to do like a lot of climbing, but there was a little bit of rock involved that I was climbing on, not hanging or anything, but I've worn them on hikes. I wore them, we went to go see the movie Cabrini the other night. Oh my God, it was so good. And I just like loved my little outfit. Like I said, I don't go too, go out too often. So when I do, I get really excited about planning an outfit and this has been on repeat nonstop. So all the information will be in the description box below. Again, enjoy and let me know what you get. I wanna know, we can start like a whole collection together. You're showing your baby to the camera? I love that. I love baby. I love baby. You're showing your baby? So nice. My baby. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Mwah.